What's the haps? I'm Oroka, and I'm here in my test world today, land of shattered redstone and broken projects. I'm here with you because I'd like to do a little bit of a redstone tutorial kind of thing. I recently installed a series of vending machines, much like the one before you here over on the Strangeland server, and they seem to have resonated with people quite nicely, so I thought I'd do a quick rundown, rundown on how to build one, in case you wanted to incorporate one into your own projects. And indeed, I actually have a little bit of improvement on the design as well to run, run past you as well. So this is our basic unit, this is the one that you will have seen me install already potentially. We have a basic unit, the bottom block I am using orange clay for predominantly design purposes, that block can be whatever you want, and then on top we have a dispenser, however a dropper works equally well, you can use a dropper as well there, they both function pretty much the same, and it's hooked up to a hopper which you can use for payment systems. So the hopper, the hopper then connects to a second hopper which feeds into a chest, that's basically where you're going to collect payments, if you were to remove this block you could then access your payment system, it's fairly simple. The bottom hopper could be hooked up to a filter, obviously I haven't at the minute, but if you want to put some items in there to stop certain items getting through, that would totally be a viable option, you could do that if you wanted. Uh, this then hooks up to the comparator, the comparator basically detects any item passing through the bottom hopper and provides a redstone signal. If you only need to put one item in, as you know, most people are probably fairly likely to do, you only put one item in, ta-da, it provides one pulse. Uh, you do need then the redstone re repeater to extend that signal that feeds into here. As you just saw, that's hooked up to a sticky piston and followed by a two pulse repeater. Those two combined ultimately act as a signal shortener, which I'll get into in just a moment. That feeds into this block, which has a couple of redstone torches acting as knot gates, so signal inverters, which feed into the orange block. And when the orange block receives power, that basically then powers the dispenser and you get whatever item you are looking for out of it. So if I throw another one of those in there, you can get more items out of the system. So the signal shortener is basically there as kind of a failsafe against a fools misusing the system basically. If one were to say throw a whole bunch of items in there, you can see the system stays on for a little bit too long. So the items take a little while to filter through the top hopper and then a little while to filter through the bottom hopper, which basically keeps the signal on as long as the comparator's there, as long as there are items in the hopper, that signal will stay on. That can cause some issues if you don't have the signal shortener. The signal shortener basically if that wasn't there, this torch would stay on indefinitely, as long as there are items there. It would ultimately, because it's next to this hopper, end up locking this hopper and it would stop the entire system from working. It's a really good way to break things, so it's probably not something you want to do. So this basically flashes one quick signal through there, which goes into here and dispenses your item and then turns off immediately because the signal has been shortened. So that it will lock the hopper, albeit very, very briefly, it, not enough to break the system because it does turn off immediately afterwards. Uh, you will also need a half slab above the chest. I'm not actually so entirely certain on the reasoning for that. I suspect it's uh, something to do with items can't be fed into the chest whilst there is a block above it. In the same way that a person cannot interact with the chest, I think the hoppers also cannot just um, deposit the items into it. So there's that. If you were wanting to put a filter in there, as I say, that would be fairly simple. You just simply put a lot of whatever items, whatever garbage items you had around in there to fill that up. And one item of whatever you're looking for. If you want to see a diamond as payment, you put a diamond in there and then fill that up with a load of trash items that nobody's likely to have. And that'll keep, that'll keep the system reasonably secure. If you were to do that, you'd probably want to do this because obviously by virtue of having items in there, it's going to create a signal anyway, so you want a little bit of redstone wire there just to take the signal. And you want to set it up such that one extra item will ultimately push the signal into the repeater as opposed to as opposed to just falling just short. So that's how you'd set that one up. And uh, yeah, you have at your disposal a lovely redstone dispenser. A vending machine, as it were. It's kind of cool. And then obviously uh, you can do as I have, hung banners on the side, uh, change the colour of the base and put a bit of carpet on the top to spruce it up a little bit and make it look kind of pretty. So if we head behind the wall, you will see we've got a Mark II. So one thing Fixer did ask me to do on Strangeland server is, could I make it a modular design? Could we have a whole bank of them? Ta-da! Yes you can. So if you think about how, how vending machines you're quite often likely to see them as a whole bunch together. You could create a whole row of them, a whole crowd of various vending machine units and have them dispensing a variety of different brands. So these ones are a little bit more compact. However, the redstone on the ground is a little bit more elaborate. However, you can extend these indefinitely. These 
uh, theoretically you could create as many dispensers as you wanted, or droppers, whichever way you wanted to do them. So ultimately the redstone underground is exactly the same, you just have to go a bit deeper and a bit further back. The redstone is, it's only one wide, each of, the, each of these circuits is three separate circuits here, so the circuit is only one wide, however it does go underground considerably more. So we've got a series of three, uh, three, um, three hoppers here this time, because I need, I just needed to go that deep, quite frankly. Uh, that then feeds into there, and that's your payments as usual. But the system is exactly the same. If you follow the circuit through, you will notice that all the things are exactly the same as they were. That is still a, that is still a, a pulse shortener. The, the wiring is the same. It's just a lot more elaborate, basically, to compensate for the fact that there are two circuits in such close proximity to each other. There's a lot more. There's a lot more repeaters in there. I'm aware, but obviously the repeaters are simply there to keep the circuits from crossing. You've got three circuits running on parallel tracks, and you don't want them to com combine at any point. So this is necessary to actually make this happen. Ultimately, though, the actual logic behind the circuit is exactly the same. You still got uh, one inverter there and the other inverter there. You still got the two inverters. You still got the pulse shortener. You still got the comparator. The mechanics are there. There's just a lot more wiring in between the two of them. And ultimately, you've got two different types on two different tracks. If you, were to, if you were to take the middle track here and place that in the next one, and then the first or third one, you've got two different wiring tracks here, and you need to alternate the two onwards and so forth as you went along. Uh, also, if you were to note, if this were to be like the inside of a building here, you probably would want to put a half slab floor in there, because obviously you can't cover this up too well, because it is parallel with the floor. This is that's unfortunately a sacrifice you need to make. If you wanted to make it... If you wanted to make the floor parallel with the floor outside, if you wanted your floor to be there, well, you're going to have to take this redstone even deeper, and I'll let you figure that particular problem out yourself, because this was as deep as I was prepared to go with this particular system, I'm afraid. So there you go, if you wanted to have a variety of different brands, the logic is, as I say, it's exactly the same, it's just uh, getting the wiring in the right place is a bit of a tricky issue, but uh, hopefully you should be able to take a look at these designs and copy them for your own, de own devices. And you can have a variety of different things. So we've got, obviously, you've got my well-established uh, Maroka Cola brand. So if you wanted a delicious, refreshing Maroka Cola, you could throw whatever payment you wanted in there and get one of those. Uh, in the middle one, we have a fantastic new brand of my own devising. We have we have Crypto, the first detonator. It's got it's got gunpowder. It's what miners crave. This one obviously has to be a dropper. If you were to put a dispenser in there, that would ignite the TNT, so that's where a dropper would come in very, very handy, handy with that kind of thing. So be careful with your products, make sure you know which ones need to be in a dropper and which ones need to be in a dispenser. And then the third one, honestly, I haven't even given this one a name, I didn't give this one a brand, but I did, quite a cool idea I did feel is you could make a, potentially a healing station. You've got a splash potion of healing, if you were to walk up to here and say, throw in, oh I don't know, a Maroka Cola as payments, you get healed. That is just a healing unit, which is kind of cool. So that's an interesting new use for it as well. So as I say, these are infinitely repeatable. You can just keep adding units all the way down the line. Uh, I think that's kind of cool. I think those are a pretty neat little idea. So if you want to add those to your server, those would be really cool. And let me know what you've done with them. I'd be quite keen to see if anybody else uses these designs, because I like it. So yeah, that'll just about do it for today. So thank you very much for watching. I've been Maroka. I'll see you next time.